Wealth of plant species that exist only in Greece. We handpick our Greek botanicals and extract them in our own labs by combining the best of nature with science. Carez delivers powerful results in each product. Immerse yourself in the beauty of Carez. Starts tonight at midnight on HSN and HSN.com. I'm on a hunt for the things that make life easier. You know, the products you can't live without. It's all about having the right tool for the right job. Come join me every Saturday at 7 a.m. to find out what makes me say, now that's clever. There is nothing quite like shopping with a friend. So pull up a chair and shop with us. We'll be dishing the scoop on what's hot. Catch you up on what you've missed. And share some of our favorite discoveries. Come shop with us every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. So we're going to do kind of like a lawn and garden show, except we're going to be inside because we're Skyping with all our guests since we're still not all together yet. But my name is Guy. Uh, I'll be with you for the remainder of this hour. Wanted to um, pick a, a couple of items really quickly that I know you're going to love and that I wish we had more of, but what we don't. Um, one of them is our wind and weather painted bicycle spinners. The, the spinners that we offer for your garden are the best out there available. These are so dang cute. And when the wind comes and hits them, these little spinners are gonna go round and round and round. You put this right out in your garden. We'll show you what it looks like in a, in a real garden. <laughs> Just there it is. When the wind hits it, the, the wheels turn. Uh, you talk about charming. There's a little basket with a little flower on it. We had 150 of these. Kyle, how many left? 80, 80 in the red. 15 left in the green, uh, you know, the copper and green. I love it. I think it's the best little, look at the price, only $39.95. It's weatherproof. You can leave it outside. It, it, all the stakes come with it. Stick it in the ground, put it in a little area of your garden. You'll love this. I don't even know if it's going to make an airing. $39.95, 682-635. And really, really excited about this. I don't know how many of you out there um, have uh, had issues trying to use a shovel. Well, this is called the Belmont Gardens Power Shovel. It is brand new. To me, it is absolutely the ultimate shovel. What this shovel uses is it's, it's basically half sledgehammer, half sh sh uh, shovel. So it's got a weighted sleeve inside. When you lift it and drop it, it drops that weight right into the head of the shovel. You will cut through roots, debris. Look at it, it's going through bricks, ice, it doesn't matter. I'm buying one of these today because even though we don't have ice here, I have a hard time uh, when I'm out gardening getting through some of the roots because I have a banyan tree. Banyan tree roots go forever. It'll, it'll saw right through them. It's only $49.37. I expect this to sell out as well. So keep your eyes open for that from Belmont Gardens, the power shovel coming up with our friend Lorna, who's gonna be Skyping in. So anyway, can I walk over here? Let's walk over. Um, out of all my garden items, um, this, this is one I purchased uh, because I, I was like, listen, I, and I have a pressure washer. Don't get me wrong. I have a uh, 1500 PSI pressure washer. But when I bring that out, it, it's got, I got to plug it in. I got to do this. I got to do that. It's kind of, it, it, I got to fill it with water, soap, all that stuff. The, the Hydra Shop from Works is the solution and the answer for anybody out there that either doesn't have a pressure washer or wants a great way to be able to wash their car, wash the deck, wash the boat, whatever it is, wash a painted surface, because you don't, you don't do pressure washer on painted surfaces. We all know that, unless you want the paint to come off. It is gonna take any ordinary uh, garden hose and it's gonna up the power so that you get 320 PSI. Your garden hose is 60. It will multiply the pressure of your hose times six. Best part is, it uses a rechargeable battery pack. No wires, no cords, no plugging in. It can feed off any water source. You can put the water in the bucket. You could put the hose in the ocean or a lake and you can wash off the boat. Completely cordless. Um, operation, or if you want, you can plug it into your garden hose, which is how I use it when I wash my car. It's the best car washing device I've ever seen. It is $109.95. The last time we had this, it sold out. We got them back in for a pressure washer 
to get it at $109 and then to have one that is battery powered and connects right to your hose or any water source to me is an absolute slam dunk. I gave it, uh, let Danny borrow it the first time. He's like, oh my God, then. Best car washer I've ever seen because it ups the pressure of your hose six more times, much more than you'd get off any attachment. The item number is 702893. I own it. I love it. Lou Caputo standing by. Lou, you, you got to admit, this is one of the coolest little power tools to come along in a, in a long, long time. And I love, oh, yeah. I love that it's battery powered. Noth nothing more to, yeah. nothing to plug in. No, and that's the great thing about these. I'll, I'll tell you a little secret. I've actually owned one of these for about a half a decade now, <laughs> uh, way before we ever started selling them here, before I started representing these, because it's an awesome tool to have around your house. If you don't want to drag out the pressure washer, this is a power washer. And as you, you said, multiplies the pressure from your faucet by five times up to 320 PSI. So I'm gonna do a quick little cleaning job here just to show you something. Take a look at this fence that's behind us here. Uh, you know, it's a vinyl fence as you can see, and it's been sitting outside all winter long, you know, and it's looking a little rough. Watch the way I can come in here and using my hydro shot, just get all that dirt right off of there. Look how quick that is to do. Look at that. And there's no plugs involved. And by the way, I'm drawing my water from a bucket. That's where I'm getting my water from. I don't have a hose out here. I'm not attached to anything, but you can just see the way that very, very quickly does that. And that's why this is so awesome for people that live in apartments. You know, if you want to take this with you to the beach, there's so many ways that you can use this. And look at that. In short work, we're done. Now, if that had been mold or mildew, it would have taken that off too. Now, down here on the ground, we've got a welcome mat. You know, they're made to be abused, and this one clearly has been. Watch how I can clean this off very easily with my hydrogen shot and get all the dirt off of it and guy the thing is it gets down into the fibers as well because remember you're talking about 325 or 320 psi now the wand that's on here has an adjustable tip so i can change the tip on this i can change the water coming out of this right there you can see that's your widest but then i can turn that down and make a narrower stream in increments all the way down to a pinpoint, and then we've even got a function for watering your flowers right there. Now, this is a time of year, I think, where people are starting to clean everything outdoors, including their screens, all right? This is one of the best ways to clean your screens, because you want to get all the pollen, you know, all the dust off of them, the bugs that get caught in them, plus you want your view to be nice. Remember, your air is getting filtered through that when it comes in the house. Watch the way I can blow right through this, and it's gonna clean the window right through the screen, just like that. Look at that, guys. Isn't that amazing? Oh, my gosh. I love it. You know, I, Lou, I've been using this to wash the car. And I got to tell you, if you just bought it to wash your car, your boat, or your RV, you would buy this in a minute. Because yep. even, you know, like it, it, once in a while, Danny will haul out the pressure washer to do the tires and things like that. For the most part, pressure washer is, it, you got to be careful when you use it on things like your vehicle and on painted oh, surfaces. Yeah. With this, you don't yep. have to worry. This is the unit yep. itself. And, and here it is. I, I, I think it's absolutely brilliant. So what you've got here is you've got a battery charger that charges this battery right here. All right, and then all you do is you take it and you slide it on. Now That's I am it. now I am ready to go. You can hear it. Hear it? So now all the power I have is here, nothing to plug in. If I wanted to, I can take the soap container which comes with it and I can lock that in and now I can I can put soap in here and I can soap my car. And I can also rinse it at the same time, all in one handy uh, unit. It comes with a coupler, so you can hook this to your garden hose. Any garden hose will fit on here for your water source. It also comes with this, uh, this is a uh, water feed bucket. So you would yep. attach this to the unit, and this goes either in a lake, in a pond, in the ocean, <laughs> or it goes in a bucket of water, and you can draw from there as well. I mean, they really thought of everything when they put this together. And when, you, yeah. and when you're just washing your car, I mean, everything is right there. Your soap is in your hand. You don't have to deal with anything. Uh, you know, if you wash your car once a week, you don't even have to get scrubby brushes or anything like that because the 320 PSI is enough to get rid of all the dirt, even around the rims on your tires. If you wanna, I, I also tell people for your, um, for your house, you know, you're not gonna use a pressure washer to clean your home on a painted surface, because a pressure washer, if you don't know how to use it, will take the paint off your house. It'll damage the paneling or the exterior. 
even if you have a stucco house, you know, a, a pressure washer will take stucco off the side of the house. What you That's need true. is something like this, Lou, which will remove yes. the mold and the mildew. And I love, right. I, and by the way, the power pack, we used it for 30 minutes, it was still running. So I know it goes at oh, least yeah. 30 yeah. minutes. <laughs> well, it's also, and that 20 volt power pack is interchangeable with all the other works 20 yes. volt tools. So once you get one, you can use it with all of them. Now, I put the soap dispenser on here real quick because I've got my truck here. I would never use a pressure washer on my truck, but because I've got this 20 foot hose that I can draw water from any fresh water source, I don't even have to worry about whether I've got a hose or not that I can use. And just look at the way real quick. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of soap on there. And then all I do is give this a twist and I can take off the soap dispenser and then I can put back on my wand and now, Look at the way I can just rinse that right off. And you know, if I had love bugs on here, guy, if there was anything on there I was trying to get off, this is gonna blast it right off there. Because again, you do have that 320 PSI up to, um, and, and you know, it's, more, it's gentler than a pressure washer because this is a power washer. That's the difference. Now, in just a couple of seconds, you got the soap off of there. Look how great that looks. Wow. Look at that. All the bugs are gone, all the dirt's gone, all the grime is gone. Now, guy, when you go to the beach, don't you hate it when you get sand on stuff and you go to put it in your car and yes. you got all that sand that you take <laughs> it with you? All right, come on over here. I want to show you a neat little attachment you're going to get with this. You can actually connect a bottle to this full of what? water, just like that. Yeah, and so just take this bottle with you to the beach. I've got a chair here that's been out on the beach all day. I'm not going to put that in my truck looking like that. So watch this. I can just use the water that's coming out of this bottle to get all the dirt, all the sand off of this before I put it into my vehicle, make sure the legs are all clean. And that's the cool thing. If you go into the soccer field to watch the kids play or football games or, you know, whatever, we start doing that again. You can use this. You can take it with you. Now, I want to show you something else. I'm just going to come a little closer to the camera right here. Right here on this bottle, I want you to watch this. When I squeeze the trigger, look at the way it's drawing that water down. Yeah. From inside of this. <laughs> Isn't that cool? You know, Lou. Yeah, that's water talk, man. Lou, I'm glad, I, uh, you know, either you're going to mention it or I'm going to mention it, but I will also tell you that Danny is constantly asked if he can take it to the beach with him. Oh yeah, <laughs> because it becomes a little water cannon, and I know we're not we're not promoting that in any way, because I'm against it. But I'm telling you, the kids take this out and they use it because it's 320. You don't go, you know, they they have fun and they they shoot it from a distance and they soak each yeah. other and they have a good it's time. The it's world. not for that, and I am not no. saying that. I'm just saying if it disappears uh, and your kids live walking distance to the beach, they're probably out there having fun. But you know what, Danny also. Also, you know, for his surfboard, uh, for their skim boards, they rinse, you know, because they bring those things back all sandy, they can rinse all that off without taking the finish off those as well. We are extremely yep. busy right now, as I knew we would be. $30 off if you buy it today. Um, Lou, I'm, I don't know about uh, yeah. what you think, but I'm thinking this perfect uh, sort of belated Father's Day present, right? If you miss, if you see. Oh. I, I, I would take it a week late if you couldn't get it in time. Yeah. <laughs> I'd take it. <laughs> I'll take it any time you want to give it to me. It doesn't yeah. matter. I mean, this is like my go-to now. I, don't, you know, I can't even think about the last time I broke out my pressure washer. Yeah, because I know. I'm using a power washer. You know, for jobs like this, where I'm just trying to spruce things up outside, look at the way I can do that there. Now, if I wanted to water these bushes back here, right, let's just say there's some kind of a plant, I can actually put it on a nice little light spray pattern just like that. And look at it, it's nice and gentle now. Even though it can do up to 325 PSI, it doesn't have to. It's a nice mist right there. You know, let's go back to cleaning up the lawn furniture here. You know, get, look at the dirt coming off of this thing. Wow, it didn't even look that dirty to me. But you can see all the dirt coming off of there. Look at that. The bottom of the chair, you know, before the company comes for their first barbecue of the season, look at that. Clean this whole thing off right there. And you know, you were saying some great stuff earlier, guy, about how you can use it on vinyl siding. I've done that. I'm, my house actually on the oh, yeah. outside use it on the vinyl siding to get that dirt off of there it's wonderful the way that that works there we go put that right side up and i want you to notice something too this whole time i've been working where's this hose going well there's a bucket here on the ground and i've been drawing all my <laughs> water from that i use this um on my lake to clean my boat oh okay? yeah and i just throw this in there it's yeah. awesome no more dragging hoses Look, around you know what i did i'll tell you and this what? is i gotta fess up a little bit about three years ago <laughs> my old pressure washer that i got from here I had this, yeah. I had this orange rust colored stuff that was developing along the bottom of the house. So I took my yeah. 1600 pr uh, PSI pressure washer out there and tried to blast it off. You know exactly what sure. I did. I took the paint off the house. 
which had, and then I had to go find the paint, which I didn't have, and I had to rematch the paint. So, so the issue is, when, you don't want to use your full-out pressure washer on certain surfaces, no. and, and you can yep. also hurt the finish of your car. So you want to use something that's strong, like we said, like a, a power washer versus a pressure washer, which is what this is. And the fact that you don't yep. even have it hooked up to a hose, you've got it hooked up to no. a bucket of water. You can take this to the ocean, to the lake, so you can wash things there without any water source other than a big body of water. Absolutely. It comes with everything to plug it into your hose. That's how you use it every day. But I'm telling you, mom's out there if you are stuck on what to get dad for father's day i know it's only a couple of days away take a picture of it give him a card tell him it's on his way you will love this and moms will love it as well for cleaning anything that they need to clean their car their boat their rv whatever it is oh, cleaning yeah. around the pool area right or even watering your flowers it's ideal Less than a minute, we got we got about a minute left lou i'm gonna let you just gotta give us quick 30 seconds to to wrap it up yeah, I'm just going to clean off this Adirondack chair that's sitting right here. And you can see the way it just blasts the dirt off of that plastic. I mean, it gets it right off of there. But you know what? Think about other ways you could use this. You know, we were talking about the beach. But if you mountain bike, you could take it with you. If you're a golfer and you want to clean your legs off and your shoes off before you get in your vehicle, you could do that too. I mean, you know, because this is so portable, guy, it's great for people who have RVs. It's great for people who yeah. have boats. You know, people live in apartments, condos. You don't have access to a hose. You don't need it now with the hydro shot. And nothing to plug in, battery powered. I love that feature. And you get about 40 yeah. minutes of runtime on this 20 volt battery and they're all interchangeable with the other uh, works collection of tools. Lou, we got the tack right? lights coming up later. I'll see you at the end of the show. That's right. Okay, buddy, see, see you, you buddy. Then. All right, come on, walk over with me. We got more stuff to talk about. Um, you know, it's funny. <laughs> I own more things in this two hour block than I think I've done in like five years. I own the works. Um, I had the air purifier. I, I can't get enough of no more bugs. This is my favorite pest repellent that is available on the market. I love this. Uh, when you're going outdoors or indoors, there is nothing, in my opinion, better than this product. It's called No More Bugs. It's naturally green. I love this stuff for a bunch of reasons. First of all, I love that it is bio-based, environmentally friendly, and I can spray it around men, women, children, and pets, okay? No fear because it is made largely of cedar oil. Now, the thing about cedar oil is bugs don't like cedar oil. I'll let, Linda's gonna explain why bugs don't like cedar oil, but they don't like it. They don't like orange oil, cedar, they're, they don't like really a lot of different oils, and we'll tell you why in a little bit. But here's what we're offering you today. You're gonna get the jumbo, this is the mega set, the jumbo 32 ounce side size. You're going to get two of the travel spray bottles. Now, these are both going to arrive empty. You can fill those up. You're going to get the little, uh, the little uh, key fobby thing, little hook thing for your, uh, to hook this onto your backpack or your golf bag. And you're going to get a sponge. This looks like a funny sponge. When you uh, wet it, it turns round so that you could do inside in your cabinets and drawers. What will this work on? You ready? Here comes the list. Ticks, mosquitoes, fleas, no seams, gnats, stink bugs, ants, flies, dust mites, horse flies, and roaches. The worst, the bane of my existence, cockroaches. It works on all these bugs. It is safe for you to use on your dog, on your cat, on your horse, if you should be so fortunate to have a horse, on your plants, in your campground area, and in your camping bedding, gardening, fishing, tennis, golf, soccer. It is DEET free. I spray this once a week when I do my sheets. I spray it on my mattress before I put my sheets back on. Beautiful woodsy cedar smell. Everybody seems to love that scent. It's amazing once you use this. You could put it on your hands, put it in your hair, put it around the bottom of your, of your, of your boots and shoes when you're hiking. Deer ticks? Yeah, my father had Lyme disease. It's a nightmare. You want to be able to repel the bugs. You're not, this is not intended to, to be a spot killer. This is a treatment that bugs will avoid at all costs. Mosquitoes will not bother you. Put it around your neck. Put a little in your hands. Put it on your hair. Put it on your golf bag, gym bag, backpack. Anywhere you want to repel bugs, that's where you put it on. It is an amazing, and it smells, I will spray it right on my hand. It smells Amazing. All right, I, I would, that is like a cologne. It smells that good. Um, today, our price is $43.85. Um, the uh, lovely Linda is back with us. Linda, you know how passionate I am <laughs> about this product. I order it. 
right? I have, an auto, I have an auto ship. It comes all the time. And Danny loves it. Everybody that comes over, they're like, that, that's for bugs? They're like, it smells amazing. I'm like, yeah. And I love it. Anyway, welcome back to our show. Hey, uh, Guy. Hi, everybody. Good morning. And it is summer. And if you notice, the bugs are in oh, full yeah. force. I don't know about you all, but for, uh, for some reason, this summer feels particularly mosquito-y, all right? It just, every single time I go, the moment it starts getting dusk, there, all of a sudden, I'm like, oh my gosh, and I run and I get my no more bugs. Now, this is a product that is a cedar-based product. No chemicals. You can spray this indoors, outdoors. This is USDA bio-based certified. And that's no easy certification either, folks. That is means that the United States Department of Agriculture has said this is safe for you, your pets, on the inside of your home, on the outside of your home. So let's talk about what you're going to do when you get this. First thing I want you to do is you're going to have a little red cap under in there that's to make sure it doesn't spill and chipping just remove that red cap and then put your sprayer on here but before you do that i want you to fill up your travel bottles now these travel bottles are going to be your best friend this summer and into the fall the reason why i say that is because you're going to be able to put this in your purse just pop it in your purse i actually like to put one in the pocket of my car if you're a family of partnership, you want to make sure that each one of you have it. You might, many of you are going to probably get more than one set because you want to make sure that your kids have it. You do have the carabiner, right? The way this fits on is you're just going to push it right into place here. And now you can put this on your golf bag, on your backpack. You can put it on your belt loop. You can keep it wherever you want. But folks, you can also bring this on the plane because this is 3.4 ounces and that's the amount that you get to bring on the plane. So let's talk about where are the bugs. Well, on the inside of the home, this is what I want you to do. I want you to spray the perimeter of the home at the floorboards. Underneath the floorboards, great home for all those ants, the roaches, all the cockroaches like to come in there. I'll take over, Linda, while we fix your Skype. The cockroaches, you know, I worked in the restaurant business, as many of you know, <laughs> for about for about 18 years. And the, and the bait of my existence was cockroaches. We, our, our restaurant was right next to a movie theater, and, and so they had lots of popcorn and stuff, all, and we all had basements. It was a nightmare. I mean, I would see a cockroach going right across the wall in the middle of the restaurant, and I'd be like, oh, my God, it was terrible. I'm in Florida now. They call them palmetto bugs. Ugh, they're still cockroaches. They're just giant, and they're awful. I don't see any in my home. I have two things. I have my pest repellers that I got from Bell and & Hell, and I use this. I don't, even, I don't even have a pest control service. I even got rid of my termite guys. I'm like, I don't, you know what? I could do all that stuff myself because I don't believe in toxic poisons or tenting your house. I'm not gonna do that. This is what I use. And, and let me tell you, if you don't think you got, you got um, dust mites in your bed, <laughs> you're wrong. Everybody does. This is how I control dust mites too. In your bed, spray this right on your bed. You would never do that with a regular pest control product, right? You're not gonna put poison on your bed. This you can put on your bed, your pillows, your sleeping bag when you're camping, your golf bag, your backpack. You know, I wish this was around because my poor father, uh, who was long past, but my poor father, uh, many, many years ago, he was a hunter. And, and then after he stopped hunting, he, uh, he, he just loved to hike. He, would, he, would, he got Lyme disease from, from deer ticks. And we didn't know for like eight months until he started getting a little, a little different. He was just acting different. He went in, he had Lyme disease and he got it from a tick. This will help to repel ticks as well. So ticks and gnats and mosquitoes. How about, are, maybe you're one of those blood types. Um, and I know a lot of times it happens um, with women too. Like for some reason, bugs seem to attack them more. I don't know why. Maybe just because they're better than we are. I don't know. But, but the point is, this is, I mean, you know, and it could be, literally, it could be blood type or whatever. I, like, my sister-in-law will come up to visit, and she gets eaten alive at her ankles by no I They don't bother me. Even mosquitoes don't really bother me. 
What bothers me is cockroaches and spiders and things like that. That's what I use it for. But I am telling you, when, when Kira is her name, she comes over, I give her this stuff and she goes, oh my gosh, and it smells so nice. Because nobody wants to put something that smells like bug spray on. You want to go to a picnic and wear bug spray while you're eating a hamburger? No, you want to smell nice. And what's nice about this too is that woodsy smell just fades a little bit but it's, it's really, really a beautiful smell. 32 ounce is our mega set. You will fill those two bottles and you'll still have, this will almost be still full and you will take this all over. If you can get on auto ship, I would do it because you're gonna fall in love with this product. If I'm wrong, return it, but I, I love it. And I'm really, really strict about, about things like vitamins and, and pest control and detergents. I'm really, I'm picky about that stuff. I really like it. And, and I, I just think it's, it's phenomenal. And I love that you can spray it anywhere. If you've got pets that, get, that have a tendency to get fleas, spray it on the pet, work it into their fur. Linda will show you how to do that. Or spray it right, you know, right on, on their collars. Um, all your furniture, spray it on the cushions, indoors, outdoors, wherever you don't wanna see bugs, and the tracks in your sliders, you know where your sliders go, spray it in the tracks. I do that as well. Take a little on the sponge, put it inside your, uh, your cabinets um, where maybe you see silverfish and things like that, right? I mean, I, it, all I know is it works on almost every bug. I've never had any issues with it. I would try it. All right, Linda, I'm gonna switch back to you. Um, what, is it, what is it about, uh, two things I'll ask you. What is it, why does it work so well on insects? And, and then you're gonna show us how to use it on your pets. So go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so the way insects are, we have our backbone on the inside of our body, right? right? Well, bugs are ectoskeletal. So when they smell cedar for some reason, it suffocates them basically. So what they do is they don't go into your home. So they don't go around that cedar smell. We love cedar smell. We love it so much that we actually put it in to our colognes and, and our perfumes, but bugs, they can't handle it. That means that you don't have to have that moral dilemma of, oh, do I trap the bug and put it outside? Do I squish it? They just don't come around. Okay, so this is safe for you, your family, and your pets. This is little Charles here, and he decided that he wanted to be on uh, camera. Let me show you how to spray this. What I want you to do is you're gonna spray it from their tail up to their head and you spray it up against their fur. You get it right into their fur. When it comes to their underbelly, you can put it on your hands, rub it underneath there as well. Also, when it comes to their face, you would never wanna spray this on your kitty cat, your dog, your horse's face. So I want you to put it in your hands and I want you to spread it on their ears and around their face. Now, this is gonna protect them from the fleas and the ticks. It's not just a one-off either. You're gonna to have to reapply it because if you're like this little guy, he loves to run around, he loves to roll around. And as that happens, you're gonna to need to re reapply it. But you can spray this on the dog bed, on your bed. You mentioned your bed. I did the same thing, guy. I just changed my sheets and I sprayed this all over my bed. Why? because we have so many dust mites on the bed. I actually spray this and then I let it dry and I vacuum it up because I don't want that. I don't want that, it, stay awake guy. Uh, I don't want that around at all. But look, you can spray this, it's not gonna stain. You can spray this in your home, you can spray it outside. You were mentioning cockroaches. Uh, I can't stand them. What you wanna do and where they like to hide is in your kitchen drawer. So I want you to spray your kitchen drawer. Remember, you're getting a sponge. Now the sponge is going to look like this. You put it in water, it'll look like this. But you can just wipe this down. Do the same thing in your drawers where you're having your sweaters or when you go to pack them up. You can spray this on your visor. Now, you're getting this really cool sprayer. And what's nice about this is the fine mister you have a little lock on here too. So once you put the carabiner on, you can lock it, unlock it like this. It, it toggles back and forth. So I unlock it and it has this really nice stream of spray. Spray your visor. That way when you put it on and you're golfing, the gnats aren't gonna come around. I spray liberally and especially this summer folks, the fleas, the ticks, and those mosquitoes and no seams have been out in full force. I don't know what it is. Maybe the pollution's going down and they're coming out, but I have to spray myself liberally 
Do yeah. not leave a spot off of your body because let me tell you, no. they'll find it. But if you spray yourself well, you'll give yourself that bubble of protection yes. of them from I the know. bugs. And that's everything. And you know, Linda, we just had a lot of rain here in Florida. And you know, when rain uh, comes, yes. that means we're going to have a lot of mosquitoes. So stock up now. I'm buying, uh, I'm, I actually get it on auto ship and I'm buying another one anyway, because I use it that much. Uh, we're going to love, uh, we absolutely, absolutely love it. Linda, thank you. I appreciate everything. You're great, great guest. Appreciate you. See you thank later. Thank you. All right. 009-280. Hey, coming up a little bit later, they are back, the Tack Lanterns, the two-pack, which are ideal for any indoor-outdoor activity. Uh, whether you lose power or you're a camper or you want to bring them out while you're barbecuing, they're awesome. $24.95, no cords, work on batteries. You can adjust the lighting by raising or lowering uh, the Tack Lantern uh, lid there. Comes in blue, comes in pewter or red. Everybody gets two for $24.95. They're perfect uh, for summer time. That'll be coming up a little bit later with my friend, Lou Caputo. All right, we're gonna move on. Love having new items. You know, we, when we did Guys in the Garden, or Gardening with Guy, we've named it a couple different things. I don't know what it's gonna be next summer, but I'll be in it for sure, I hope. Uh, anyway, in our garden shows, we try to bring, uh, bring you things that maybe you've never seen before. Um, this is brand new. I've never seen it before. Um, it is what we call the ultimate garden shovel, but it's really a shovel for anything. Whether or not you are trying to break through the toughest ice out in your driveway, the toughest roots, rocks, cement, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, this shovel will go through it. What it is, is it's half jackhammer and half shovel. It's got a built-in floating uh, handle that is weighted. And when you pick it up and drop it, it drops all that weight right to the point of the shovel. All right, this is all heavy gauge stainless material. It takes the work out of shoveling. And whether it's rocks or bricks or ice, it'll have no problem going through it. It is the ultimate shovel, yet it is easy on you. Easy to use, no more standing on it, hurting your foot. Just give it a, a little shot. It digs down, it cuts through the hardest dirt. And I lived in Arizona with that red soil. You try digging in that, man, you, got, you have to have a sledgehammer or a jackhammer to get through that. This is the shovel itself. That's how it works. You raise it up, you push it down, it'll cut right through anything. I've got it available in two colors. It comes in gray or it comes in red. I will tell you, if you, have, if you snoozed on Father's Day, this is the shovel you want. It's portable and compact because when it's resting, it goes, goes all the way down. You can lock it into its standing position if you would like with a little twist. Lorna Co is standing by. Lorna was so excited that she she uh, texted me from the UK yesterday, telling me how excited <laughs> she was about this brand new shovel. It's wonderful to see you, Lorna. You're all ready to garden, and you got the best shovel in town. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, thank you for having me. I am so excited because for thousands of years, the shovel has been the same design, but the materials have been different. This is patent pending. This is brand new today. It's got a power slider. So what that means is, as you said, hard soil, compacted dirt, it cuts through like butter, but don't just think soil, think stones, think rocks. This will power through I'm not wearing work boots, Guy. I'm not getting blisters because this does all the work for you, but you can lock it into position. So it's a 42 inch shovel. It's also going down to a 30 inch shovel. So if you're going into the borders, you want to get on your hands and knees, but it's got this pivot action. So I'm not gonna get blisters when I tip that dirt out. Yes. This is the shovel reinvented guy. Well, you know, normally, Lorna, when we use a shovel, we all do the same. There's a reason they put a little lip on the top of it because we expect we're gonna have to put our body weight in to break through the ground. We always expect we're gonna hit roots, we're gonna hit rocks. We're worried about damaging the shovel, poor shovel. Well, this shovel is virtually indestructible. If you are a gardener, you know what I'm talking about. I have a, uh, Lorna, I have a banyan tree in my backyard mm -hmm. and banyan this tree runs its roots all I mean across yep. the lawn I can see areas mm -hmm. where they come up above and when I was trying to put edging in the back of my yard all I kept coming across was root after root after root this will go through anything roots are easy this will go through stone. I've never seen a, 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 a shovel made like this or that is this, I mean, this indestructible yet still not, it's not heavy. 
It's comfortable in the hand. It's the perfect size for doing gardening. It's not too big, not too small. So universally, if you're a camper, if you, if you go camping, this should be, I mean, this, you should have one of these in your trunk no matter where you go. Absolutely. And Guy, this makes gardening so easy because it multiplies the power of gravity for you. Now, I've got a tile here, but you know what? It's Friday. I'm going to add another tile because I want to show you I'm not wearing work boots. I'm not wearing gloves. But if I want the power of gravity multiplied and I want to break through, are you ready, Guy? Okay, that has just destroyed those tiles. That was fun to do. This shovel will power through anything you throw at it. And I love the fact it compacts down so you can fit it in the trunk of your car, into your RV. And if you are getting down and you're doing some digging in the soil, I've got some here, I want to show you that power pivot. It just tips it for you. I'm not getting any more blisters. If you know anyone with dexterity issues, this is the shovel for them. And watch, Guy, I can even sit down. So maybe you know a relative or a family member, they've got mobility issues, they're sure. in a wheelchair. I can dig through rock in a few seconds by using the power shovel. This is patent pending. This is an all new design. Shovel has never been seen before. It is incredible. Yeah, and, and I, I love how the whole thing is made. I love the construction of it. When it compacts down, you see it's, it's not that big. Um, it is... Let me just say this is it's probably going to last you a lifetime. I mean, this this is all heavy duty gauge uh, steel material. There's no there's no fiberglass or there's no wood uh, involved with this. Okay, in the construction of it, it's all heavy duty. The interior simply locks inside, and I've got it in the lock position now. If you want to unlock it, you give it a turn, and that's where it releases that piston. This is the action. See, there's weight above it, up in the handle, and this action is what shoves that down into the ground. So if, if you look at this, this is how that works. Okay, and you sort of get a better visual when I do it that way of how it works. You don't have to use the whole shovel and then you're doing this and I, I, you can lock it, I'll lock it back into position here. But you know, the, the real issue with it is, is when you do that, and I've got mine locked down. Um, you, you, you gotta rock it back and forth. You know, you're putting your foot on top of it, trying to jam it in, when all you need to do is use the power shovel and just allow the weight to break the surface of the dirt. If you love it now, wait till wintertime comes and you've got ice buildup on your front porch. Mm -hmm. And you're like, how am I gonna get rid of this ice? You don't wanna get out there with a hammer and chisel because you might damage the, the, the porch. You wanna use this because you can adjust the amount of pressure that you put on it. If the ice is thick, you hit it harder. If it's a little bit light, you just go in easy. It's gonna do a job, it's gonna do the job all year long. So it'll take you right from gardening season all the way through, uh, you know, to when it gets cooler and then back into spring again. If you are a, a camper, hunter, boater, fisherman, whatever you are, outdoorsy person, you need this shovel. You know, it's not going to be one of those six, seven foot shovels that you don't know where to put it like that one. And look, at this guy's got a bend over, blisters on the hands, back is hurting, or you can use the ultimate power shovel. $49.30. If you want to get it $10 cheaper, we have an HSN credit card offer. Put that up. You get $10 off if you get the card. So you can get it for, for $39. And this is the kind of gift, you know, I, I, and I, I don't, I say that anybody could use this, but since the uh, day after tomorrow is Father's Day, anybody out there that snoozed on dad and you're like, oh, we forgot to get that, get him this, take a picture of it, tell him it's on its way, dads don't care. You know, get, if it shows up, we'll be happy. But it's a great, great gift for, for somebody that's hard to buy for. Lorna is one of my uh, favorite gardening uh, guests, and she knows how often and how, how much you would use this. What I love, Lorna, is that the compact size makes it easy, even if you're sitting or if you're down on your knees and you're doing your gardening, it's not such a big, giant shovel that you wouldn't use it for even small jobs, right? Absolutely, Guy. I'm just going to cut through some roots here because I, you mentioned yourself, if you've got roots in the garden, this is going to get it through those roots. It's so easy to use. I can break these in seconds. And what I love about this, it makes hard work easy. So it's the easiest shovel you'll ever use. And again, just to show you the power, I've put a tile back up here, but because it is the weekend, I'm going to put two tiles here to show you. I've, I'm not wearing work boots. I'm not wearing, you know, heavy duty laborers clothes. All I'm going to do is release the power 
of the power shovel. Okay, I mean, imagine that is your compacted dirt in your yard. You're trying to dig down into those roots. You're trying to get through those rocks. This uses the power of gravity. It multiplies it. It's patent pending. It locks into position as a regular shovel, but it also goes down to a compact 30 inches. You can fit it in the boot of the trunk of your car. Guy, this is the most incredible redesign of the shovel you've ever seen. I, let me tell you, I would get one of those and I would always have it in my car. You never know when you're gonna need it. You never know what situation will arise. And you've got this guy in the back of the car for anything you need it for. It'll be there. I mean, like an emergency tool, it is there for you. 4937. Lorna, thank you so much for Skyping in. Look at her, she's amazing. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> I love this shovel. I can tell, me <laughs> too. Guys. All right, honey. We'll see you soon. Take care, Lorna. Hey, really Bye. quickly, I wanna, I wanna, can we pull this up, Kyle? Because this is, I, I own this too. I know, you're, you're all, oh, he doesn't own everything. I own every one of these things because I do all the work around the house, me and my son Danny. And I bought this blaster brush because I was like, really? You're talking about cleaning windows? You actually, look at this, you attach your hose to it and you got a scrub brush with a hose. Look at that. So if you're cleaning windows or if you're doing paneling on the exterior of your home, getting rid of the, you know, the little nests and the mud daubers and all those awful things of obviously for washing your car, it would be ideal as well. If you want to grab one of those, you get that in the Hydra shot. You got a scrubby and you got the, you got the power hose, everything you need. It is $29.95, another great, great gift. All you do is plug it into any ordinary hose and uh, you get the rinsing ability, the washing ability, and the scrubbing ability all in one. 699177 is the item number there. All right, I mentioned this. We had a couple of hundred of these to go around. I mentioned it at the beginning of the show. Um, quick 90 seconds. Kyle, how many left of the red bike spinner? 66. Six, <laughs> six of these. If you're wondering what they do, I'm trying to do them both going the same direction. The little wheels spin as it hits as it hits the air. They're adorable. I'm gonna let Yvette talk about this because I haven't seen her in a long time and Yvette's the best. Hello, Yvette Lopez. Is, is, this, Hi. is this the most adorable little spinner for your garden you've ever seen? Look at these things. It <laughs> so, so charming, so charming. Right now, I'm actually in the front walkway to my home. Yeah. I have the copper and verdigris right here. And if you notice, it actually matches some copper artwork I have on my wall. When these get going, they look like the like the wheels are just rushing by, you know? And you know, the, the detail. Remember, this is wind and weather. You have your little flower. You have your bird back here, all powder coated. And then you have this one, which is incredible this one's a little more whimsical right i actually put some faux flowers in it so you have that option as well remember these are not going to chip or rust they're never going to fade these are actually mine in my own yard they've been out for over six months so if you get a chance to grab these before they're gone please do you are going to love them ah they're adorable <laughs> all right we'll let you know when they sell out we didn't really have enough to do much of an airing there but we wanted to at least mention them while we still had a few remaining we're going to move on to our wind and now wind and weather is uh, just an amazing brand that we have here at hsn they create in my opinion the best uh, outdoor functional form and function artwork uh, and designs it's beautiful stuff from their bird feeders to their beautiful displays this is their set of two hummingbirds the hummingbirds have been all the rage all season um, everything that we bring out hummingbirds sells out people love it this is also a customer pick why because it's so well made. And what you've got is you've got really two very sizable birds. And the reason we wanted to show them with me here is to show you how big they are. Everybody gets both, all right? You get a large one and you get a medium sized one. All hand painted detail, all solid steel construction. Both birds are included. You can hang them anywhere. The hanging hardware is on the back and you can see uh, you can use a nail or a screw um, and you can put them in, but they are so beautifully done. Look at how, the, how they feathered the bottom there and you can see how beautifully three-dimensional this is. Both of these, you could put them out on a wall. You could put them on the back of a fireplace, wherever you would want to put them. They are beautiful. Um, um, Yvette, I think these, we, I just, we can't keep hummingbirds in stock this year. Yeah, these are absolutely gorgeous. And what I want, you, you talked about the size, the small ones, 10 by 12, the large one 
is 13 and a half by 17 and a half. You can see how I have, here, I have them here on a fence. You, the colors are so vibrant. And what I want you to see is the detail. This looks like something you would pick up at a very elaborate art show. It's a foil finish. The body is actually lace and the colors, one color bleeds into the next. You have orange, golds, greens, teals. You can see the eye. I mean, hummingbirds as they are, are just unbelievable creatures. I saw them this morning in my HSN hummingbird feeder and I looked at them and I said, wow, they must know that I'm gonna present these today. But you, these are indoor and out. Remember, they're powder coated by wind and weather. So you can put them in, in a craft room, in a sewing room, maybe if you have a book reading or meditation room, or again, put them outside, but they are so vibrant and it really is gonna look like you paid three or four times the money that you are here for them. Yeah, they, I, I just think they're magnificent, and I love how look well they're that. made. Um, you know, we, when I look at all the uh, the different spinners that that we've been offering uh, and all the other artwork, I always look at it and I say, you know, if you look at it, you you understand the cost because they really are well made. They're not made of plastic, uh, which a lot of outdoor decor is because they know plastic will last, but it fades and it kind of gets droopy after a while. These are just beautiful, and when the sun hits them, they will absolutely glisten in the sun. They are so beautiful, and you can hang them any which way that you want. I think the way to hang this one would probably be like that, right? Or you could hang it on an angle like that. But you're going to get mm -hmm. both of these um, for one price. They are on FlexPay. If you use your HSN credit card, $12.49 is all it'll cost you. If you don't have a card, get a new one, get $10 off on that. You'll love it. All right, I'm going to slide over. Um, Yvette, if you'll bear with me and kind of walk with me here. We have one more spinner that we wanted to tell everybody about, and this is our angel spinner. Um, this one is really, really special, um, not just because it's an, it, it's an angel, but because you can use this throughout the year and think how special this will be at holiday. If you put this out in the winter time, how beautiful it'll be. And I love, I love the spinners on this. And you can't tell, but at night, this will sparkle when light hits it. Actually, has this built-in sparkle um, adhering to the outside. It's a dazzling uh, display. We'll show it to you uh, sort of in our uh, video here. When the wind hits it, the wings spin around. If you love angels, you gotta get this. And at $39.95 of that, that's a really good value for uh, wind and weather because you know their spinners go upwards close to $100. This one's only $39.95 oh, yeah. today. Yeah, absolutely. And this one, the colors are so incredibly yes. vibrant. And if you look again, like something that you're getting at an expensive craft show, I'm an angel girl, I love these. This is the one that I have in my garden. <laughs> The angel's wings spin. They're in a beautiful silver. She has a harp. She looks like she's going out to a ball. She's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I love that you can see that up close. You can see that she glistens. So I want you to pay attention to that beautiful detail. Again, it's like this artist came out and just hand painted this for you. The quality that Wind & Weather brings you is really, it's second to none and you will love having this. This is, this, is a, this is about four feet, so you can put this in a garden. It's perfect for a garden, or you can even put it in a planter and put it in a deck or a porch if you have a small space. It's really a special piece. You know what I would do too of that is maybe run, run some Christmas lights up, up the, the pole and have that out in your yard when holiday comes, right? Whatever holidays you yeah, celebrate. Yes. It's just, yes. you know, because angels, angels across the board, you can, you can utilize for a whole bunch of different things. I don't think there's ever been a better time in our world to put an angel out than right now. <laughs> That's for sure. We, could all, use, we could all use a guardian angel in our lives. So put this out there. It's only $39.95. I have a handful of these to go around round as well if you want to get it. Um, you can take $10 off with a brand new HSN credit card. Uh, I think how pretty it's going to look with the snow coming down and maybe a little Christmas uh, a light up the, uh, up, like, up the pole like we said. Or you could wrap it all the way around or have it just nestled in the trees, the evergreens. It'd be beautiful to do that. And uh, as far as putting it together, that pretty easy, right? Oh, this is about honestly five minutes. So the angel comes full and you know what I mean? You don't even have to piece the angel together. It comes on the pole. You simply screw in the pole and stake it in the ground. That's it. It's going to take you literally five to seven minutes to put this together. And that's the beauty of it. Take a look at the reviews. People love it. Oh, it's yeah. really a different, it's a different and unique piece.
It you, really is. 660212 if you'd like to order it. We don't have a lot of these remaining, uh, but grab them while you can. If you can only get one piece of lawn art, I would recommend this is a great one to get for you. Yvette, thank you so much. Appreciate you Skyping in. Thank have a wonderful you. day. <laughs> you too. Great seeing you, everybody. You have a great day. All right, Roland. <laughs> take care. All right, we're going to uh, walk over, and we've got our we've got our Bill and Hal tack lights, and you can see how cool these are. But but first, before we do that, I want to remind you, I still do have our Works uh, power washer available. Um, about three times the number we expected went out, so it is getting very uh, getting very lean in quantity. Um, this is a power washer for your garden hose, for your lake, pond, pool. You can use any water source with the, with the uh, feed tube that we give you. Just put it in a bucket of water, or you can attach it right to your hose. You can even attach it to a water bottle. Nothing to plug in. It is a power sprayer with a 20-volt rechargeable battery. That's the best part about it, so you don't have to worry about plugging it in, which means you can take it on the road. Imagine washing your car at the campground or washing the kids off when they get sand on their feet or on, on your chairs or their, or their surfboards. You can wash your boat with this, your car with it. It'll multiply the pressure of your hose by five and a half times, so it's safe to use on the dog. <laughs> it's safe to use on your painted surfaces, on your car. You gotta be careful with a pressure washer on your car, or your house, or your boat, because it will take the finish off. Not with this. Strong enough to clean and powerful enough in your hand. And remember, with that hose, you see the hose that's wound up there? That's to go in a lake, a pond, a bucket, a pool. You don't have to attach it to the garden hose unless you want to, but you could do that too because we give you the coupler. $109.95 is the sale price today. They are going fast. The reason I wanted to mention it is I have a handful remaining so grab it while you can, it's on FlexPay. Great gift for dad for Father's Day. Uh, if, you, if you snoozed on that and you wanna get him one, it's a great gift. All right, last item in the two hour block and it's a good one. We uh, struggled for years to get the, uh, to get the TAC uh, light pop-up lanterns back. They were so popular. I think it's because people use them for everything. They use them as their emergency light. They use them as their camp light. Uh, they use them as a barbecue light when they're outside barbecuing, right? Anywhere you need light and you don't have a plug, you got, you got the tack lantern. It's ideal if the power does go out. It's ideal when you're walking the dog. Maybe you're getting home late uh, from, from you know, playing golf and you need a light just out in the garage to be able to put your stuff away. Whatever it is, virtually indestructible, self-adjusting light, which means as you raise it and lower it, you can brighten and lower the light. So if you just want a little bit of light, you lower it down, you want a lot of light, you raise it up. It is brighter than any flashlight that's available on the market. Okay, um, to me, I think it's a, a slam dunk because you get two of these. It has up to two miles of visibility. Um, you can hang it because it has the little hooks to hang it from. Um, and it comes with a lifetime warranty. All you do is you pop in your batteries, you're good to go. Lou Caputo is rejoining us uh, from earlier. Lou, I'll tell you one thing. You're hitting it yeah. out of the park today. That, that works power washer went crazy and now you come back with the work light, it's all good, Lou. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, and I, I, this is a light that I have used a lot, Guy, and I say that because, you know, we have a lot of blackouts here in Florida. We have hurricanes and brownouts and all kinds of things, and my wife Kelly and I use these all the time, and I love it because it's very, very compact size, but it puts out a tremendous amount of light. When I open this up, and it does have these handles on top for carrying or for hanging, when I open it up, you can see how much crazy light comes off of this. There's three cob LEDs in this, and they're working off of three AA batteries, and that means they put out a tremendous amount of light, but they use very little power. Now, I understand that's hard to see, so I have one here with no batteries in it. Just so you can see the inside of this here, take a look at that, and you can see the cob LEDs in there, the yellow strips that you're seeing, those are those cob LEDs. Um, and then, you know, that's the difference. That's what it looks like when it's not lit. When you open it up, boom, you get yes. a tremendous amount of light. Now, I'm gonna turn my lights off in here. First, I'm gonna turn this guy on, and now watch this. When I turn the lights off in our studio, I want you to see how crazy bright this thing is. Wow. I mean, look, <laughs> yes. look behind me here. I have no other lights. I'm gonna walk over here. I want you to see this as I walk away. Here, look at how much light <laughs> this is throwing on me over here. Yeah. And guy, if I wanna dim it, you mentioned this earlier, I can just push this down, see, and control. Yeah. There's a little bit of light. There's a lot of light. So I you can it. see a tremendous amount there coming off of that. Yeah, and if you're in an emergency situation, Lou, you could pop that thing up and down 
and you've got an emergency blinking searchlight. I mean, it, it, it's, and, and it's so bright. It's almost, you know what it is? It's, to me, it's almost like looking at the sun. <laughs> you really cannot look at this light directly for very oh, long. Yeah. It is that bright. Um, you guys also made these, or they were made, Lou, to be virtually yep. indestructible, which is, which is why sure. it's a great hiking uh, lamp, why it's a great biking lamp. Um, you know, if, if you are uh, involved in any outdoor activity whatsoever, you don't have to worry about fumbling it or dropping it. It can handle anything. We actually show a shot of it coming out of the fire to give you an idea of how industrial it is. But look at, when I look at you, Lou, there in your shot, I mean, I've never seen light that bright from, from a flashlight. Look at, look at that. Isn't it crazy? Yeah. Well, and, and it's nuts. When you look at these on the table here, I mean, my shirt is, as we say in the business, it's blooming because there's so much light. I can step all the way back to this wall and I'm still lit. And that's why these are so great for camping. They're great for fishing. They're great to have in your car. These are wonderful, you know, to give to the kids as a gift. My gosh, you can't, you know, they're virtually indestructible. <laughs> give them to the kids. Let them use them in their, you know, their, their blanket forts and outside the backyard and whatever they're doing. Yeah. But that, well, even if I turn these guys off, just the one right here is lighting up a whole huge circle here in our studio. And that's what's so cool about this. Look at this. I can go way back here and you still see my shadow. There's still light back here. I mean, seriously, three AA batteries yeah. are doing this? And no you know what I love, I love too, Lou, is that they look like the old, um, you remember the old ga gas lanterns with the, you know, with they the, do. What, what do you used to call the little globes that you put in there? The, the, oh, a um, mantle. Yeah, the, mantle. the little mantles, remember? You would, you would, <laughs> and those were a little bit dangerous, you gotta be honest. Those were a little scary. Oh, yes. <laughs> because, yeah, and they were hot as all giddy up. You couldn't get near them. Um, and then yep. they weren't really reliable. If you try to light it in the wind, you couldn't do it or the rain. The, uh, the reason that, that they love the tack light is it has that same look as the old school camp lantern, but it's about 10 times, oh, 10 times. How about about a thousand times the brightness, but you oh, can yeah. adjust the brightness down if you want. So if the kids are having a sleepover and they wanna hang out, fool around with lights like they always love to do, they can shrink it down, bring it under their tent. You don't have to worry about it catching fire like you do with the other lanterns that are either oil lanterns or gas lanterns. It's safe. It sips energy. Those AAA batteries you put in there will probably last you two or three seasons of using this, um, depending on how much you use it. If you use it as a camp light, you put new batteries in every year. But remember, this is not like the old uh, school incandescent flashlights that, you know, I, they, they used a regular bulb and you'd have to replace the bulb or you'd have to replace the batteries. They weren't that bright. Um, they, right. would, they, they wouldn't last very long and then they would just dim and then they're useless. These will stay full power full power until it's time to, re to replace the batteries and you will be shocked. The first time you open it up, you'll be like, oh my gosh, that is two miles you could see this light from. Two yeah, miles away, you know, that's miles. a long way. Yeah, well, and I've actually got an old school LED lantern right here next to me and you can see it's on, it's glowing right here. Watch what happens if I turn this one off, I'm just gonna close that down. I'm gonna hold this guy up next to me, okay? That's all the light that that's gonna throw off. This has D-sized batteries in it with, my God, 36 LEDs. We just have three Cobb LEDs on, all, on ours. Look at the difference, right? Whoa. Do you see the difference? <laughs> Whoa! Holy. It's amazing! This thing weighs a ton! <clears throat> that's a ton. crazy. Yeah. Dylan Howells, dude, they've done it again. Uh, you know what? Yeah. They know what they're doing. And you get two of these, Lou. They're perfectly yeah. portable. You, I mean, they're as big as a coffee cup. You take them wherever you need to go. I love, Lou, that they come with the, with the little hooks to hang them. So if you want to hang this from a tree, Lou, you could take two of these and put them on either side of like, uh, of like your badminton, and then you go out and play badminton in the dark because you'd have enough light. I'm telling it's you, they are, that, they are that bright. Yeah. You know they're another crazy. nice thing, Lou, near the pool because nothing electric, right? Yes, that's true. Just the batteries in the, I'd say that's why they're great for camping, yeah. fishing. Any place you might get splash of water, they're fine. They are perfect. They are. All right, well, Look Lou, that. we're just about out of time. Look at you. <laughs> You're like the, the guy with the lantern. Look at you walking around. Paul Revere. Hey, <laughs> thank you, my friend. Good job. Appreciate all your help. Great job with this. The great You're job welcome. with the works, too. The pressure washer went Absolutely. great as well. See you soon.
See you, buddy. Thanks, Lou. Hey, by the way, this is also a huge customer pick. Read the reviews. If you're on the fence about it, you're going to fall in love with it. Um, last call, 520-013 is the item number. Uh, stick around. We've got more great stuff coming up. I know Shannon is coming up, and she's got an hour of uh, what they call tech talk. So she's got all kinds of great electronics in that show. I will see you tomorrow morning on Now That's Clever with me at 7 a.m. Eastern. We've got a loaded show, so I'll see you tomorrow morning. Here's a little information from our good buddy, uh, Jay King. Let's see what he's up to now. I found it in Peru, China, Morocco, an amethyst mine in the middle of nowhere. Every day's a new adventure. We go right to the mines. You can actually show people, okay, this is how it all starts. And every rough material you get is like opening a Christmas present. You're able to sculpt it, make it into something that's really unique, very special, very limited. And I think that that's what people love. They know the history of it. Here at HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900.